Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about this nasty ass, ratchet ass story, honey. And no, it's not coming from Florida. It's coming from Columbia, Mississippi. So what's going down is that we have a young 18 year old mother. Her name is Sky Samuels. And basically she's been accused and she's also admitted to basically putting some special sauce on somebody's burger, okay? So what was that special sauce you asked? The special sauce that she decided to add to somebody's burger was period blood, yes. This bitch is as ratchet and nasty and disgusting as they come. And on top of her putting pure blood on people's hamburgers, she also decided to lick the cheese and put it on the damn period blood burger, okay? So what happened is that basically um, a few weeks ago, a woman came through the drive-thru and Sky and that woman got into it. Um, the woman was yelling at her, saying some things to her. And instead of her just, you know, realizing, you know what, this is just a part of fast food. People are going to have shitty attitudes. It is what it is. Sky decided to show her by basically taking her fingers, digging them in her cooch, and then smearing the bread with fucking period blood, okay? And then proceeded to also lick the cheese. So when her co-workers saw this, they were disgusted. And one of her co-workers decided to tell her mother, Tabitha Hollis. So Tabitha, who is the co-worker's mother, they called the manager, nothing was done. They tried to call the corporate office, nothing was done. And I'm also hearing rumors that her daughter was later reprimanded and possibly fired, okay? So they're saying nothing was done, so at that point, Tabitha decided to take this to Facebook and thank you Lord Jesus that she did. She took this to Facebook and let the world know the woman who ate the bloody burger, literally, okay? She then found out about this, went to the police, pressed charges, and then at that point is what sparked the investigation. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip and also check out what the woman wrote on Facebook that led to this whole investigation. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Tonight on a story we first brought you earlier this week, Columbus police open a criminal investigation into claims that a former Jack's employee put blood on a customer's food. Our Quentin Smith talks with the mother of the teen making the claims and a city spokesman. He joins us live with more. Andrea Joey, I spoke with the woman who claims her daughter was fired from Jack's after trying to report the incident. The police department is calling this uh, case unusual. Spokesman Joe Dillon says the uh, alleged victim came forward, and that's what helped launch this investigation. Now, Dillon says the alleged victim, she contacted police chief Oscar Lewis and admitted that she was indeed the victim. Now, all we know is the alleged victim is a Tupelo woman who says she stopped to get something to eat before going home. And you may recall a former employee claims another former employee put blood on the customer's hamburger and licked the cheese on the burger. Now, investigators plan to review surveillance video from the restaurant and interview witnesses. I spoke exclusively with the mother of the former employee who reportedly told managers about the alleged incident. Here's what she had to say. Right there that sent me over the edge because it told me that they didn't believe what Destiny had to say. They were going to try to sweep it under the carpet and they were hoping by shoving Destiny out the door that it was all going to disappear. The only two people to be let go was the girl that did it and my daughter. So the allegations that were made in this case are very, very serious, and, and it's a matter of public trust and of public safety. And because of that, that's the reason that the police department opened a criminal investigation on it today. 
Now, at this time, no arrests have been made and no charges have been filed. And coming up tonight on WCBI News at 9 and 10, we speak exclusively with the mother who claims her daughter was fired from Jacks for trying to report the incident. So make sure you stay tuned in for that. But for now, reporting live in Columbus, Quentin Smith, back to you in the studio. Fast food worker facing felony charges tonight accused of intentionally contaminating food with bodily fluids and serving it to a customer. Morgan Wagner has details. 18 year old Sky Juliet Samuel is behind bars after another. Another Jack's employee says she put bodily fluids on a customer's burger. It happened back on January 7th at one of the chains in Columbus. A Facebook post by a resident says Samuel prepared and served a customer food after smearing blood from her period on it. The Mississippi Department of Health says it also received reports of Samuel licking a piece of cheese. A health inspector was sent out to the Jacks, and the company has launched its own investigation, which will include reviewing all of the surveillance videos. Jacks sent out this statement saying, in part, Food safety is our top priority at Jack's Family Restaurants. The company takes any claims of improper food handling very seriously. Recently, an audio tape recording was posted on social media claiming that an employee at the restaurant in Columbus potentially violated our stringent food handling standards. The employee allegedly involved in this incident was terminated several days ago for unrelated reasons and no longer works for the company. The restaurant received an A rating. At this point, Jack's internal investigation is ongoing, and the company will do everything it can to assist authorities with their own investigation. Samuels, who turned herself in on Monday, could face one to five years in prison for knowingly selling the unwholesome meal. She is currently being held at the Lowndes County Adult Attention Center. In Jackson, Morgan Wagner. All right, so you guys just saw what the woman had to say. Her post went viral on Facebook. You guys also saw the news clip. Now, the crazy thing is this disgusting bitch, Sky, even though she's trying to look all innocent in her mugshot, she's a ratchet bitch because this is what she said on Facebook. Once the story started going viral, this is what she said on Facebook before she deleted her post. So Sky took to her Facebook page and she said, LOL, shit is killing me slowly. That bitch shouldn't have got smart and said all this shit that she said over the intercom. Motherfuckers act like they ain't never did no stupid shit. I don't give a fuck about this shit. So those are the words of this ratchet mother, okay? Cause she's a young mom, these are her words. So to me, I don't feel bad for her at all. I hope she ends up getting some damn jail time behind this shit because I find that disgusting as hell. Nasty bitch, stinking ass bitch. I don't feel bad for her at all. I don't give two shits that she's a young teen mom. I don't give two shits that she's 18 years old. Obviously, she didn't feel bad about doing this. She obviously had no remorse. Even when folks were calling her out on her Facebook page, she was still being attitudinal, defiant, and belligerent. So whatever she gets behind this, that's on her, okay? The whole situation to me is ridiculous. If you do not like your job, then you need to quit. This is part of working fast food. This is part of working customer service. The customer, like it or not, is always right, and you cannot go around playing with people's food because you're upset. I find this just highly, highly disgusting. That woman has to be sick to her stomach. Had I been that woman, I'd be ready to beat this shit out this damn 18 year old you don't play with people's food like that you know the whole situation to me is disgusting i wonder how she would feel if somebody smeared her fucking food with period blood while she's sitting there in jail or what if somebody fed that bullshit to her daughter you know, this is just disgusting. And then with that being said, last but not least, I had to give props to that young lady. So many times when people are in a group situation, they form what is known as groupthink, where they see something wrong is happening, but they laugh or they joke or they cheer it on. And instead of doing that dumb stuff, she decided to be a leader and go tell her mother and to go tell somebody about it. So kudos to you, little girl, okay? So kudos to you. She should not have been reprimanded for that. And that's too bad that she got in trouble for doing the right thing. That was the perfect opportunity to damn tell and to damn so-called snitch okay because that's disgusting and you would not want that happening to you so kudos to that young girl for stepping up and blowing the whistle on this nasty ratchet ass sky chick okay and these fast food workers y'all keep on showing out y'all keep on licking taco shells and pissing in the sink and putting your dick on subway sandwiches and all this stupid shit that we keep seeing fast food workers do this is why they're replacing a lot of fast food workers with robots in the future they'll be 
robots making the food and there won't be any jobs for fast food workers because stupid stories like this keep going viral. Again, if you don't like your job, quit, go find something else. You don't have to work there, but you have no right to potentially get somebody sick because you're mad or because you have an attitude. So I just find this whole situation just read damn dickless and damn disgusting, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire bloody situation, no pun intended, coming from Columbia, Mississippi. And then how do you feel about the business ignoring the mother when she first went to them behind the scenes to file a complaint? Do you feel like they should also be held accountable for them not doing anything right away and not firing this girl right away? That it wasn't until the video went viral on Facebook was when they all decided to do something. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.